Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Hey, I wanted to talk to you guys for four or five minutes last, do another FAQ video for you guys. And this one talking about contracts versus a la carte lawn care, but I wanted to approach it at a little bit different way for you guys. I wanna talk about some selling points I have about why I like pay as you go lawn care versus contracts. But I'd also love to hear your guys' thoughts and weigh in about why you might prefer contracts instead. So it's gonna be a good juicy video for you guys. If you have four or five minutes, stay tuned. And let's check this out right here, right now. Make, make, make the ground shake. Alright, so what's up guys, it's Brian here, Brian's All Maintenance, and today we're going to do another FAQ video. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm all about helping you guys grow a more successful business, so you guys can go out there and crush it. And you know what, I have a lot of experience here with doing lawn care and landscaping uh, for the last decade or so, and you know what, I love sharing the best information I have for you guys to help you save time and money and energy and headaches and frustrations, right? And today I wanted to talk about contract lawn care work versus uh, just pay as you go or a la carte. But the biggest thing I wanted to talk to you guys about and the question I received the most is, Brian, why don't you do contracts versus why do you just sign people up and mow as you go? And it's a really good question. And it's actually a, uh, a question that I wanna propose back to you guys is, what is the biggest barrier to signing up a new customer? What's the biggest issue that a lot of customers are gonna come up against if they're in the market for lawn maintenance? For me personally, I believe it's actually having contracts. Now, I know the people that use contracts are gonna come at me and say, contracts or die, right? And contracts are everything. They're gonna secure your butt and they have clauses in there and uh, hold harmless and liability clauses and all these other things, right? And I get that. But the other side is, I wanna talk about the velocity of your business. I wanna talk about how quickly you can pick up a new client and how fast you can grow your lawn care landscaping business by not having contract. Let me give you guys a for instance and in how I run my business. Anytime I get a new phone call and I've vetted that customer, I've qualified that customer, which we We've done tons of videos on that uh, is the once they're ready to sign up and I'm excited about taking them on as a new client I've already went through my spiel right which is basically hey uh, where do you live what subdivision are you at hey we're going to cut on Wednesdays it's 30 bucks a week that's cut trim below edge bi-weekly and then for payment we do a charge card on file system where we cash out end of month does any of that sound like a red flag to you because if not I'm excited about taking you on and we can get you on the schedule starting immediately and when that customer says yes that's good to go. I like it. I'm excited about that. Boom. We add them to the list. Now, what I do from there is really simply, guys, and if you're using Yardbook, you'll appreciate this because I'm a big Yardbook guy. They're the ones that are powering our business. And what I do is I have that customer text me their name, their number, their address, and email. Of course, I think you get your phone number when they call me or text me, right? But anyway, so I get their name, address, and email. That's what I always tell folks. Hey, when I hang up with you, do me a big favor, send me your name, address, and email. And what that does is allow me to get all their information. I plug all that into Yardbook later that evening, and then I send that private card on file link that I'm gonna use to cash out end a month for that client, right? You know, I feel like the biggest issue for most small business owners is the back end office work because as you guys can imagine, we're mowing, we're cutting grass, we're slinging mulch, we're doing the whole deal, right? And the biggest, I, th I feel bottleneck for small business owners is all the back end office work. And whether you use a, uh, a yard book or a, uh, a jobber or QuickBooks, it, it makes no difference to me. Uh, but there's still that time that you have to invest on the back end that slows you down. Even if it's just lawn maintenance, you still have to track whether the lawns were long and you're doing a $10 charge for a double cut charge. You have a new person sign up and it was $30 one time to get the edging back in the shape. All these other little things, you're just tracking your route sheet. Who did you cut? Who did you skip this week? If you've guys got bi-weekly customers, right? Or whatever you got going on. And I feel like the last thing you wanna do is create bottlenecks both on the back end office and then barriers for new customers signing up. Again, you already hear how I sign up a new customer. I need a text message with your name, uh, email, and address. And later that night, I plug them into Yardbook. I always take a screenshot of that text message when it comes in. Uh, and then I, of course, delete that uh, uh, screenshot later. But that way, it doesn't get buried in my text messages because after 50 text message threads, we all know that they kind of get bumped and deleted on a smartphone. Uh, so what I do is when I get home later that night, 
I can plug them in to Yardbook, which is what I happen to use, and boom, new customer in the system. I don't have to think about it anymore. I don't have to fumble with contracts, and um, God forbid you got contracts where you gotta like add that person's, all their personal info into that contract, then email it or drop it off. Uh, you gotta get a signed copy for them, a signed copy for you. Um, it's just, it's a, it's a huge, huge time suck, time bottleneck. Now. It's one of those things where you guys have to decide what works best for you. I understand there's like a, a cost benefit analysis and that sounds maybe really fancy and maybe even the wrong terminology, but there's a, an opportunity cost and there is a, a pros and cons. You gotta weigh that scale. Would you rather take the time, and here's my question, would you guys rather do contracts where you take some time on the front end but you have like guarantees of payment and payment terms and uh, signed off on work and you have more um, liability protection, right? And that's what contracts basically extend to you. You, or pay as you go a la carte where there's low barrier for your customer to sign up, low barrier for your customer to cancel, right? Less intimidating when you have no contracts. Uh, always an intimidating factor, especially where I live. A lot of folks don't like contracts. Um, and the bottleneck for your back end of your business. I feel for me to sign up a new customer, I could literally go on my smartphone and in 60 seconds plug that customer in as a new account. Um, you can spend 15 minutes to 20 minutes printing off contracts and doing the whole deal uh, if you do it in a contract fashion. So when it comes down to contracts, contracts or no contracts, the biggest question I'd propose back to you is how much time do you have? Uh, some of you guys are just starting out and you may prefer the whole contract approach. That's totally cool. For me personally, uh, after a decade of doing this, I like to be able to be quick. Sign you up really quick, we can take care of you. Um, our payment terms are, we bill at the end of the month. All the expectation of that conversation for that customer is handled on the first conversation. Here's your day, here's what we do for service, and we bill end of month. If they scoff at uh, anything, like, hey, I don't wanna have a charge card on file, hey, you're, you're not a customer for us, and that just helps me keep everything as streamlined as possible. That way, at the end of the night, I'm not doing more than 10 or 15 minutes worth of paperwork, and that's usually like, jotting something down uh, for notes in a notepad saying, hey, we did a double cut or edging or we skipped somebody. For me personally, there's not a lot of nightly office work for law maintenance. Now, I'm not talking about landscaping. Landscaping, more than likely, you're gonna want some contracts or an approval estimate, whether you use Job or QuickBooks, get a, an estimate approval, uh, a contract approval. That stuff, I really, uh, I'm a big fan of contracts for landscaping. Any kind of landscaping work over 500 bucks, I'd have uh, some kind of text agreement, phone agreement, uh, I'm sorry, paper trail, text agreement, agreement, email agreement, so on and so forth. But for lawn maintenance, I want people to be able to sign up as fast as possible. And in fact, we've earned a lot of business that way because yeah, the so-and-so other guy, he's trying to get a contract still to me. I haven't seen it, but uh, if you can sign me up and you can start mowing my lawn today or tomorrow, uh, we'll take you on and we'll, we want to hire you. Okay, well, text me your info. Let me plug it into the thing. I'll send you a credit card file and you're good to go. So anyway, that's my question that I have back for you guys. Do you prefer contracts or do you guys just do uh, more of a pay-as-you-go a la carte method? But when you guys are always asking me why don't I use contracts, it's the workflow on my office and the barrier to signing a new customer up. Hopefully that makes some sense for you guys. That's my two cents. Over now. Bye.